video here on my ebb and flow uh, indoor hydroponics. Pretty much is just going to be set up for uh, uh, starting in the uh, spring tomatoes and pepper plants and then lettuce plants. And uh, how it works is there's a reservoir down here. Um, there is a tray up here and I have the grow dan starter cube starter plugs right here I have the grow dan uh, grow trays or whatever you want to call them here I bought these this year look like quite a deal very heavy it's kind of nice you can put your cubes in them 72 of them put them in a 1020 tray if you wish I probably will start them in a 1020 tray but pull them out and then set them in here in this evidence flow system once I get them set up and uh, uh, so I don't have to babysit these. Last year I was running into issues where uh, I'd run them out of water and some of the plants were kind of suffering because of it. Kind of stupid, I guess. But uh, I kind of want to set it and kind of forget it, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, here, grow smart. I'll put a link to all the things in the description here below. Sorry, I'm kind of jerking around. We've got a super box down here. Uh, it's probably not meant for this, but uh, I really don't want to pay all that much. I've been using those uh, for my hydroponics outside for years, so it seemed to work. Um, here's some fittings. One fitting will be has a three quarter inch uh, hose barb that goes, you have to drill an inch and a quarter hole in the plastic here. And then probably down here, this will be a feed. This here will be the feed that has a half inch barb fitting on it. Uh, this is the pump right here. It's an Eco Kill 100. Um, this is a dual outlet seven day trimer. I've got a whole bunch of these. I uh, found this on Amazon. I'll put a link to the description price whatnot on there. So. Yeah, I try not to buy anything unless it's prime. I get then I get the free shipping. Uh, yeah, I know I, you pay money, but you get some extra little benefits from it. Water will come up here from the pump, bubble up through here. Uh, you can uh, put a air pump on it so it gets a little bit some aeration. I might do that. Um, then also it has a drain here, and then it has actually has these extensions you can keep. You can keep putting on here. They just slide in. Sorry, chasing around. Here again, another screen. I'm sorry. Another screen for that. I can push that in here. And what this will do is it will allow the water to come up so high. And then it will stop. Or at least there will be an overflow for it. But uh, I don't plan on going up much further than... The bottoms of these, maybe a just a, maybe a quarter inch, half inch up on these, and then uh, once it reaches that point, uh, I will have the timer so it shuts off and then drains back down. And uh, yeah, simple. I bought uh, five 14 foot two by fours, one 14 foot uh, two by eight. And uh, I can kind of put some measurements in the description. Really easy. I just use screws on the corners, butt joints. No, I thought about uh, putting some, uh, how do you say it, some uh, angle bracing on it. Uh, this thing is not going to dump on me. It's just not. Uh, with all the uh, screws in it, it is, uh, if it was nailed, it would be a little bit more leery. But screws definitely have a lot more holding power. So, uh, if it comes worse to worse, I'll run some carriage bolts through it. So, real simple, real easy, butt joints, and um, simple to make. I'll put a description and sizing in there, too. These are grow lights I got from either Home Depot or their Lithonia. And they're really not grow lights. What they are is just your regular 6500K. Uh, up here, I have these grow yos. It's kind of nice. You can adjust your uh, just by pulling down lifting up and it just automatically catches the light a little bit of adjustment for weight 
on it. I have two of those lights I'm going to use. And, uh, yeah, this here distance between here is uh, 25 and a half inches. I kind of use 25 and a half inches for everything. And 52 and a half inches right here. And then seven foot uprights for the two by fours. That's why I used 14 footers. So very little waste. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll post when I get this thing going or when I start to really set it up, get it all plumbed. It's not nothing to really, uh, not that great of a deal as far as plumbing or anything like that. It's pretty simple. So, hey, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Have a great day. Bye.